Alright guys, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. As you guys know, all of the stages, every single stage on Extreme, C, uh, Extreme Super Battle Road has been completely decimated by myself. Complete all of the stages. So if you guys have completed all of the stages, you would have collected all of the stuff from missions and there's medals here to actually awaken the Extreme, the, the previous Gohan which was available through Extreme Super Battle Road. So what we're going to do is go ahead and fully 100% this man right now live in the game. So let's go ahead and check him out. So here he is currently. Um, have I got? Yeah, I've got all of his hidden paths available. He's ready to be 100%. But the thing is, this guy is really trash. Defense plus 10,000 at the start of turn, key plus 5, attack plus 25,000, and defense plus minus 10,000 when HP is 50% or below. The guy is horrible. So, we're going to fully extreme Z awaken him. And the medals, you get them from completing all the extreme as Super Battle Road stages. Complete all of the stages, and then you get the medals. Uh, you need 35 in total, uh, and then another 15. So, 50 in a complete total. So, let's go ahead and fully awaken this guy. Then we're going to 100% him. We're going to 100% and fully awaken this guy. And then also, you guys are probably wondering about the Hercule as well. Don't worry, there's going to be a full guide as soon as we get all of the medals. I want to collect all of the medals. It's going to be a daily thing, 3 million zen zenny for each medal. So a daily thing, we'll be able to do that. So let's go ahead and fully awaken this man. Let's test out how good he is as well. So, uh, yeah, okay. So it's going to require a decent amount of zenny a bit as well. Yeah, okay. So the first extremes, the awakening takes his super attack level to 22. And then leader skill gets boosted. And then, uh, yeah, we don't need to train him. And then keep awakening him again. So the second one, 15 more medals. Let's go ahead and awaken him. That's another million zenny there. And then this boosts his super attack level to 24 from 22. And then let's go ahead and awaken him again. I think this one will be the final one here. So, uh, fully extreme Z awakening and LR doesn't actually increase the level. In fact, what it does instead is increase the leader skill, the passive, and the super attack. So, that's what it does. And then super attack level as well gets boosted up to 25. So, now we're going to go ahead and train this guy up. So, let's go ahead and put all the dozing guys in first. So, um... <laughs> He, he comes as an LR, so you're going to have to use Kai's or Elder Kai's or Dozen Kai's. So, you know, good luck to you guys doing that. Okay, so that Dozen guy gave us one. Put in all these physical ones as well. So I'll increase it by four. Okay, great. And now we're going to do all of these as well. I don't think we have enough, but um, because we got all the boss battle mastery medals, uh, I'll be able to grab some extra Elder Kai's in just a second. So I'll do that. Okay, that's five more. And we're going we're gonna to fully max out this guy. We're going to fully max him out. Okay, so that takes him up to 16. And yeah, this is uh, the first LR EZA that is like, well, we've had the uh, Zamasu from before, the Goku Zamasu, and now we've got this one. And then uh, the other LRs as well. From the extreme uh, Super Battle Road stages will get the easiest as well. Okay, so we need another five more Elder Kai's. So let's go ahead and grab those. He's, he's at Super Attack level 20. So now let's. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, the Exchange Shop. So if you guys uh, completed all the Super Battle Road stages, in total you will have a maximum of 20 Battle Masteries. So I'm going to exchange three of them for some Kai's. Okay, there we go. And we'll go ahead and train him up some more. It's up to you guys if you want to do this, but uh, it was hard trying to get all these stages done. So, you know, I'm happy enough to do this. Okay, wonderful. So there we go, super attack level 25. So now we can check out everything he does because now his super attack has changed. So he's gone from that trash unit he used to be to just a completely new character. So super attack level and then there we go. So our second extreme Z awakening in the game 
Gohan kid. So now he gets aura types key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 120%, a very, very good leader skill. His uh, super attacks, we've got two. So we've got the power pole extreme uh, causes super, uh, so he has a medium chance of stunning the enemy on his uh, 12 key. And then on his 18 key, he gets greatly raised his attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. And then the passive skill will greatly increase as well. So he gets two key and attack and defense plus 77% at the start of turn. And then he gets seven key plus an additional attack plus 58% and disables enemy's guard when HP is 58% or less. Reduces damage received by 58% when there is an ally whose name includes Goku on your team, excluding youth, captain or junior. So any regular Goku on the team and this guy will get a nice little def defense as well so you'll get good damage reduction you'll get good attack so yeah overall just really really good so yeah uh, under 58 percent is when he's going to be at his best so yeah we're going with the whole 5 8 scenario here which means go han 5 go han 8 so yeah there we go uh and now let's go ahead and 100 percent this guy and test him out so um let's go ahead and max this guy out so i'm gonna give him a decent amount of crit and additional i'm gonna give him dodge as well so let's go ahead and max this guy out i mean i wouldn't recommend uh, this character for uh being maxed out but you know i'm thinking let's give him a, a, a good high amount of crit i want to give him as much crit because he doesn't really do much on additionals so yeah there we go I'll give him three dodge as well. Why not? Boom, boom, bang, boom. All of this great stuff. My favorite part of the game, filling out a character's hidden potential system. Okay, all of these little dots and everything. And that's pretty much almost all of them done. Bottom right path now. Boom, boom, bang, bang, bang. Yeah, okay, let's give him some crit there. Give him, we'll give him dodge here, why not? Give him some, I'm trying to give as many crits as possible. Yeah, there we go. That looks about right. Okay, and that's 100%. Wait, or maybe we're missing just one. There it is. There we go, 100% on the Gohan. So there we go, Kid Gohan. Uh, this is the LR from, <laughs> he's got decent stats. Decent, overall, overall decent stats. So all in the family, same way we're saying lineage, innocence, berserker, Z fighters. He's on hybrid saints, Goku's family, youth, and bonds of master and disciples. So let's go ahead and test him out on the actual Goku's family team. See how good he is. So let's just make a quick little team. We'll change this up. Yeah, we'll just make a quick little Goku's family team. Why not? And yeah, put him with him. him. So he links very good with other kid gohans but he's the only kid gohan that i have other than free one uh, so innocence innocence uh yeah let's put that little uh th there was that little uh goten which they recently put in the game yeah we'll put spirit palm goku on the team why not a lot of saying do goku why not um who else should we put on this team Um, should we put Uncle Raditz? <laughs> yeah, let's put Uncle Raditz, why not? And then, uh, um, let's put Grandpa Bardock. Yeah, that's a fun little team right there. All right, and let's uh, go ahead and test out how good he is in an event. Let's give, give him a little test in an event. So, uh, go ahead and do a challenging event. Mm, yeah sure we'll do this yeah this this will be a decent event and we'll go by goku's family 
Ik ben met Super Saiyan voor Goku. Boom, boom, bam. Any 100% ones? I don't see no 100%. Ah, there we go. Someone's always got a 100% one, right? And where is it? There's our team. All right, let's go ahead and test out this. Oh, uh, do you know what? Let's change the Icarus and we'll give it some... Where's the Deborah cookies? They'll help out. Deborah cookie, there we go. The uh, Deborah cookie will help some make some extra orbs as well. So here's the Extreme Z Awakening, fully Extreme Z Awoken Kid Gohan. So if you guys manage to beat all of the stages, he's your prize. You get an Extreme Z Awakening for him. So he's going to be really good under 58% HP. So if we can get our health low enough in this event, should be a decent little test here. Alright, uh, let's give you those, give you those, give you those. But yeah, if you guys are enjoying all of my Dokkan combat videos, make sure you go ahead and leave me a like. If you're new to the channel, what are you doing? Go ahead and subscribe, check out some more of my Dokkan combat videos. Check out the uh, Extreme uh, Super Battle Road stages. If you guys are struggling or any of them, just search them up on YouTube. I'll probably be one of the first ones up making all those stages, all the guides and everything out there. Check out my Dokkan Battle playlist and yeah, plenty of great stuff. All right, so here we go. Link him up with Uncle Raddy. Let's go ahead and pop a Deborah cookie. Yeah, there we go. Give him that cookie, boy. Uh, and give him all of these. Give you all of those. Give you all of these. Let's see. This is his max 24 key super. So how much damage is this guy going to do? 3 million attack stat. That's decent. But uh, that is with a Deborah cookie. So I can imagine his regular attack stats around 2.4. So decent damage. And then his additional power pole. Boom. 1.3 nice so he does decent damage uh he do higher damage because uh the actual uh stage the fights in this stage are against some really hardcore enemies uh these enemies are really high defenses all right uh let's give you all of these oh grandpa Bardock. let me just quickly check out his yeah so what does he do on his super he has a medium chance of stunning the enemy Alright, that's pretty good. And uh, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. That's pretty good, it's pretty good, pretty good. Uh, but I gave him crits since he doesn't greatly raise his attack. He doesn't have a high chance. He had a high chance of stun, I'd give him way more additionals, but the crits are probably where it's at. This is the Goku from the... Uh, Year 4 celebration. He's very good. I like him. And yeah. There we go. Nice clean super attack from Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I wish they update the Super Saiyan 4 super attack animations. They are really amazing characters still. They do really, really good. They're just really high damage dealers overall, but you know. Alright, so. Put Raditz here. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pop another Deborah cookie. Why not? Wow, I only changed one. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so yeah, okay. Let's go like this. Okay. So, what two links we got here? Uh, I think is. Saiyan Lineage and um, Legendary Power. Oh, Raditz, don't finish this. Alright. 1.3. No, he does decent damage. 1.3 million is a decent attack stat. Might as well bust these Super Saiyan 4 Kamehameha's. 
Yeah, this you see that this Super Saiyan 4s are just so good. Active skills. Yes, there's no need to play games. High, uh, they have a medium chance of dodging counter a super attack as well. Very high attack stat. They gain a lot of key. Just very, very powerful units. I think we pretty much beat this stage here. And there you go. Beat the stage. Get some link levels up as well. There we go. We've got the innocence leveled up for the Gohan kid. Two links there. Getting a bunch of link levels up here. Very nice. Okay. So yeah, there's the stage. Completed it. Uh, I'd say overall a decent unit. He's doing way more damage now. His attack stat gets up to 3 million. Uh, even with a Dwarf Cookie. But if we had uh, a bunch of orb changes on the field, you could probably expect his attack stat to go to around 4 million. So there you go. Uh, there's the character. 100% fully complete. There's his leader skill. 3 key, 120% stats. Million chance of stunning on his um, 12 to 16 key, and then on his 18 key to 24, he has a great, a greatly raised attack and defense for one turn, and then um, they greatly increased his passive skill. So now he gives himself two key and 77% to stats at the start of turn, seven key plus an additional attack plus 58% and disables enemy's guard when he's 58% or less, reduces damage by 58% if there's a Goku on the team, excluding. Captain Ginyu Jr. or uh, Youth Goku. So that's pretty much the Gohan there, 100%. Fully Extreme Z Awoken. Oh, let me see his art. Yeah, there we go. He's on a little dragon. But yeah, there you go. Kid Gohan, Fully Extreme Z Awoken. As always, guys, if you enjoyed today's Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Bad video, make sure you go ahead and leave me a like. If you're new to the channel, what are you doing? Go ahead and subscribe. Check out some more of my Dokkan Bad videos. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.